Tecumseh football is coming off a perfect regular season in 2022, but when the calendar turns to 2023 for their football season, they'll be rejoining the PAC, which will bring new challenges as they are the smallest school in the conference. The first challenge that the Braves will face in the PAC is with their small class size comes a smaller roster. There's just about 40 players that make up this squad. Head coach Brett Zabo says how that will impact them. I mean, 40 is not a lot on a football team, so it, 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 it means adjustment in practice. Um, staying healthy is incredibly important. Um, being able to be in condition. Most of these kids have to play all game, every, including special teams. Some of them never come out the field. One of the two-way players is the starting quarterback, Nathan Keller. He is also an outside linebacker. And while Zabo wants to limit his fatigue throughout the game, he says having the best out there is his top priority. But at the end of the day, we're, we're going to play our best 11 on both sides of the ball. And if that means you, you play both ways, you play both ways. Keller is a first-year starter, taking over an offense that scored 30 points or more in every game until their sectional championship lost last year. He says he's more concerned with making sure they win rather than have the same offensive output. I'd be honest if I said it wasn't intimidating. I mean, everyone expects you to come out and go show out, blow out games, all kinds of things. But honestly, if we win 14-7 this year, a win's a win in my book right now. And the team will be changing up their offensive mentality. This year, it will be about sustaining drives. We'll just grind it three yards, three yards, three yards. But this year we're more worried about getting the three yards and then the three yards again, just working our way to the end zone instead of just worrying about one play and touchdown. They'll be putting that style to the test in a loaded PAC this season. They may be the small school, but that just motivates them even more. There's always an underdog mentality at Tecumseh. Especially after last year, everyone's coming for our heads for going undefeated. I mean, it's going to be tough, but I think we've got the talent to do it. We'll see if the Braves can go undefeated in another regular season with a more difficult schedule. Reporting in Linville, I'm Colin Davies, Home Team Friday.